Hi friends, I hope that you have had a wonderful week. It's good to be with you again. Um, we're gonna start our time like we did last time by lighting our candle, that symbol that God is present and with us. So maybe you wanna grab a candle too and light it. Let us pray. Loving God, thank you for all the ways that you care for us, all the ways you love us. Help us also to care for each other and love each other. Amen. I have a story for you today. So one of the main things Jesus did was that he healed people. And I've got a story about him healing. It's called Jesus the Healer. One day, a man rushed up to Jesus and threw himself on the ground. People were pointing and shouting at him to go away because his skin was covered with big, ugly sores and bumps. They were afraid that they would catch his disease if they touched him. Lord, if you're willing, please heal me, he pleaded. Jesus reached out his hand and touched him. Yes, I am willing. The man's disease disappeared. Another time, there was a man who could not walk. So his friends carried him on his bed to Jesus. When they reached the house where Jesus was teaching, there were so many people they could not push through the crowd. The lame man's eyes filled with tears, knowing he would never walk again. It's okay, just take me home. No one of his friends said, we won't give up on you. So his friends climbed up to the roof of the house, took some of the tiles off and lowered him until their friend lay right in front of Jesus. Jesus was amazed by the faith of this man and his friends. You are healed, get up and walk. The man stood up, took one step and then another, and he danced home, praising God. Isn't that a beautiful story? It's so amazing. And yet, I don't know about you, but lately I've wondered, if Jesus loved to heal people, he was a healer, then why isn't Jesus making coronavirus go away? Have you ever wondered that? You know, I have to be honest, I don't have the answer. I've been really sad to see some friends get sick and I've prayed for them and wished God would just make it all go away. And yet these stories show me that that's what God wants for us, for us to be healed and whole and in community. And while I don't know why, have looked around and seen God at work in a lot of places. And I bet if you stop and think about it, you have too. And one of the things in the story that I love is that the man's friends take him to Jesus, that they're not willing to give up. They love him and are there being a part of his healing. And when I look around and all that's gone on this year, I've seen so many people helping. I've seen doctors and nurses and lots of different people that work at the hospital helping people. I've seen people wearing masks and helping each other by protecting each other. I've seen friends reach out and love on each other. There's lots of ways that we can still help, that we can be a part of God's healing work in the world. And so while we don't know all the answers about why God does and doesn't do things, we know that God is at work in you and in me, and we can make a big difference. We can help each other and we can make each other feel better. I have an activity that I think might help with this today. Um, see this right here? So this is a kindness tree. If we think about the ways we help in the world, one of them is just being kind and loving people. So I traced, this is actually Andrew's hand. I traced Andrew's hand and put it on the paper. And then we talked about, how were you kind today? Did you hold the door for someone or give them a compliment or tell them how much you love them? And, and so we're gonna do this where we think about ways that we've been kind, ways that we've helped people feel better and spread a little love. You notice the hand is empty at first. It looks a little sad, but the more hearts we put on it, the more beautiful it will become. And I think that's just like our world. Sometimes it's sad.
Sometimes the things we see make us really sad, but we can be a part of making the world more beautiful. Another thing I think you could do in this time of coronavirus is maybe write a card to someone. You could write a card to someone you know is sick or maybe to one of the helpers. Tell them how you've seen them helping and what a difference that makes because they need a little encouragement too, right? I hope and I know that you will do great at that. Each week, we're going to close our time together with the Lord's Prayer and maybe you know it, maybe you don't, but we'll learn it together. So the Lord be with you, also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. I hope you have a great day and I'd love to hear all the ways that you're spreading kindness in the world.